Kate King is back in the media going off, okay? There was a post shared in a group called the Black People's Pound Cake Group, and he did not appreciate a post that was removed that one of his supporters put up about him, okay? He has even went as far as saying he is considering suing, and he wants the group gone, okay? His supporter put a post in a group, and it was flagged. It was removed because the group has a rule that you cannot promote products that are not currently available for sale. Pre-orders is not allowed. Now, he reached out to one of the many admins of the group and got this response. But he goes live today because another post was put up. And he's saying pretty much like the lady is trying to spin it. Y'all check out what he had to say. Check out the clips I put in from the conversation from um, the group. And y'all let me know what y'all think. Was there a personal issue that they had with me? I, I sent this woman a message yesterday morning. A professional message is just asking was there an issue? She gave me a half-assed response. Everybody seen the, the, the message thread on yesterday of what the conversation was had. Okay? There was no, there, just so we clear, everybody seen the messages on yesterday when I reached out to her personally and I asked her what the issue was. Alright? So, upon me asking her what the issue was, she gave me a half-assed response. On yesterday, had this lady told me that the reason why they were deleting comments or, or not approving the post about people saying something about the mixer, had she told me what the reason behind it was, we wouldn't even be here today. So to go behind now and now make a post about me in your group, to explain what you could have told me on yesterday is bull. So y'all not going to sit here and try to explain to me how me being upset is not justified. Because all she had to do yesterday was explain to me the reason why she didn't want the people making posts in the group. And let's be honest. The reason is still bull. But I would have respected your reasoning on yesterday. The reason you didn't want me to post, you didn't want the people to post this in the group is because it was a pre-order item. Okay, I get, I get it. All right, you said it was pre-ordered. You didn't want people to be posting about it. And because it wasn't technically available yet, I understand it. But you could have told me that and I could, I would have understood it. But the fact that you left me with a bull response yesterday only to get me to this point now where I came to my platform to talk about it lets me know that you wanted this smoke. So people need to stop telling me to let it go. Y'all, it's over 400,000 people in this group, okay? 400,000 people in the group. I could have partnered with this woman and gave the group a discount code she could have got the discounted amount from these people. We could have created a discount code and she could have earned something from it. So don't sit here and tell me that I don't have a justified reason for going off or not being okay. Because we could have created a partnership here. I'm not the one that posted anything in the group. My followers were excited about the mixer coming out. They were recommending the mixer in this group. I have never one time posted anything. I don't go into nobody groups posting anything. So for the people that saying, so the people that saying that I'm clout chasing because of a group, what the f do I need to clout chase? I am the clout. What am I clout chasing? What am I clout chasing? I'm out here trying to create lanes and avenues for people in my community. So what do I need to clout chase? I would, we could have easily created an opportunity where everybody could have won. So stop telling me I'm overreacting or that, I'm, that I don't have a reason to feel the way that I feel. I have every right to feel the way that I feel because that's the, it's extremely what she did. And I ain't one time get out of line. I didn't get disrespectful. I didn't do none of that. So how am I clout chasing? I never was the one that posted it. If you would have simply told me on yesterday that you didn't want people 
you didn't want people posting about the mixer because it technically wasn't on the shelf yet. What the when you order off of Amazon, are you not pre pre-ordering? When you order something from Walmart.com, are you not pre-ordering? Because you literally don't have it in your hands yet, right? So what everybody did was pre... I, do I got to walk through the fucking factory and show people the actual product? When have I ever put something out and I didn't uphold my end? You can't tell me how to feel. You can't tell me how I, that I'm wrong. I'm clout chasing and whoever this man is that made the comment behind them, behind her, because she turned the comments off because she only allowed the people in there to agree with what she had to say. But when people were telling her that she was wrong, she was deleting the comments. But I'm clout chasing. What am I clout chasing? I ain't paid for no ad space. I didn't pay nobody to promote my mixer. This 500 pre-orders, 500 people ordered the mixer, 500. If they didn't believe in what I was doing, 500 people wouldn't have ordered it. 500 people believed in what I was doing. Y'all, I'm. my friend said this this morning. That you gotta, oh, you gotta let stuff go. You gotta let it go and all of this. And I get, I hear what y'all saying, but y'all not me. Constantly having to defend myself, my brand, and all the people were saying that's what comes with success. That's what comes with fame and all of this. I, I'm not, I, that's not what I want. I don't want all of that confusion. I would rather just go back to work and wreck, work or wreck. Y'all don't understand. I want to just sell all of this shit and be done with it i mean completely done i just want to go and just be a regular person every week is something i'm always having to defend myself it's literally one thing after another one and all i'm trying to do is something that i love I get that people believe in me. I get all, all of this stuff. Stop telling me to let go like I'm a robot. I am not a robot. And it was hate. Because you could have spoke to me and told me all of this stuff yesterday before it got to this point. We it didn't even have to we didn't even have to go here. We could have explained all of this and I would have I would have came to my platform and told my people Hey, y'all, I love y'all. Please don't go and post anything in that group right now until the mixers actually come out. Because I want to respect the rules of this lady's group. I would have been absolutely okay with it, y'all. Y'all know me as a business person. I am not an unreasonable person. Y'all not going to sit on here and say that I be speaking out of emotion and I'm hot-headed that I be out here scamming people. You're not going to tell them nothing about me because that ain't in my, in my character. So y'all not going to be able to speak on my business like that. And you're not going to speak on me like that. But y'all got to stop trying to tell me how to feel. Now, you, after hearing, you know, what he had to say and looking at some of the screenshots, I personally am a little bit confused. When he reached out to the lady, she says... This is not personal. I have no issue with members sharing your product once it's available in the manner in which content is usually shared in the group. His response was, this makes no sense and is extremely unfortunate, but thank you for your time. She says once it becomes available, he says that if she would explain that because it wasn't available, it wasn't allowed to be posted, he would have understood, but that's what I understood from her inbox. Now... In the comments, people were like, well, other people post pre-orders too. Well, if you go through and they didn't just screenshot that one, not only was that pre-order, did that pre-order get through from the emotion or the vanilla bean paste, but someone also posted his mixer um, in a link for pre-order that went through. Now, I think sometimes people misunderstand that sometimes in these groups, stuff will slide through, but they turn the comments off of that post as well. Um... 
But I only saw two posts for pre-orders that slipped through. And there are multiple admins. So while one admin, I don't know how they do their group. Whether they do shifts or people are just looking. Maybe someone didn't read and approve something by mistake and it slipped through. But it's their group, their rules. And I think the lady explained it. What do you think? Let me know. Be sure to smash that follow button on all platforms. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok.